Here comes Peter Cottontail Hopping down the bunny trail Look at him stop and listen to him say Egg tapping. Egg jarping. <laughs> Egg fight. And do the things you should. Maybe if you're extra good, he'll roll lots of Easter eggs your way. You'll wake up on Easter morning and you'll know that he was there. When you'll find those chocolate bunnies that he's hiding everywhere. Oh, here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity happy Easter day. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Look at him stop and listen to him say. Try it and do the things you should. Maybe if you're extra good, he'll roll lots of Easter eggs your way. This year, in line with tradition, while preparing for Easter, I decided to make a traditional Easter egg. Typical of large part of Upper Silesia, the so-called Kroshonka. The traditional Easter eggs called Kroshonki can be decorated using various techniques. Painting, waxing, curving and sticking decorations. But first, they shouldn't be dyed in the colors of your choice. In the past, the eggs were dyed with natural ingredients, such as onion spills or tree barks. But now, more and more often, artificial dyes are used. Kroshonki are used as a decorative element of Easter basket and tables. You'll wake up on Easter morning and you'll know that he was there. When you find those chocolate bunnies that he's hiding everywhere. Oh, here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity happy Easter day. Lamb of butter for the Easter table. I make the shape of the lamb in cold butter with a spoon. When the shape is ready, I take on the details and make the fleece. I make the shape, ears and eyes, which I fill with black peppercorns or allspice. I put a piece of boxwood in the muzzle. I put it in the refrigerator to cool it down. This is the Easter lamb, which my grandmother taught me to make when I was a child. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Look at him stop and listen to him say... Try it and do the things you should, maybe. I would like to present an Easter tradition that can't be missing from our home. It's the sowing of oats, which we later use to make an Easter decoration. Oats mean life, rebirth and resurrection, and the growing shoots remind us of nature reborn in spring. To make the decoration, we need a pot with soil and a nice cover to put the pot into. Of course, we need oats and various decorations that we want to use. In my case, there are artificial flowers, catkins, porcelain egg and bunny, as well as plastic eggs and various size and moss. You need to plan the planting of oats about 10 days in advance so that the pretty grass has time to grow. I first soak the seeds 24 hours in water and then I sow them in two pots two days apart so that they were in different heights. When the oats have grown a little, we can start making the decoration. With a bit of imagination, you can create a beautiful Easter decoration from things you find in your home or garden. Mine is ready and I hope you like it.
We are sending you an Easter blessing, wishing you a reflective and peaceful holiday. We, we wish, wish you a, a happy, happy Easter. Easter. If you're extra good, he'll roll lots of Easter eggs your way. Poppy seed cookies, ingredients, five hundred grams of ground poppies, seeds, three tablespoons of coconut shavings, two tablespoons of coconut oil, three tablespoons of coconut flour, two large bananas, one or two tablespoons of honey. Making mix of ingredients in a bar. Make poppy seed cookies. Place the poppy seed cookies on baking tray. Bake in the oven for 20 minutes at a temperature of about 180 degrees Celsius. Cool down. They are delicious. On Easter morning, and you'll know that he was there. When you find those chocolate bunnies that he's hiding everywhere. Oh, here comes Peter Carpenter. Hello, this is my Easter egg, and this is my Easter hat. It's made of nine colorful eggs and one uh, pink Easter bunny. Hello, this is my Easter bunny hat. It's made of nine eggs and one Easter bunny. It's very colorful. And this is my Easter bunny egg. Uh, look at this. This is my rabbit. And this uh, is my my Easter egg and it's made of uh, sequins, strings and daisies. This is my chicken. It's made of paper. And this is my lamb and it's made of uh, white wool. Happy Easter! Hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hoppity happy Easter day. Hello everybody, my name is Carol. I would like to tell you something about Easter. Do you know that yellow is a symbol of new life, green is a symbol of youth and rejuvenation, and red is a symbol of love. <sighs> Color for Easter for everyone. May your Easter basket be filled with joy, happiness and peace this season and always. Sending sweet thoughts for a happy, happy Easter. Enjoy your Easter and may be blessed with joy, wishing you all the love and happiness that only Easter can bring. Happy Easter from Easy Language Center. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Look at him stop and listen to him say.